What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fantastic game. We are playing against Echo today, and as you're all aware, number one threat from Echo level one is if he starts E and then autos you to death, so we're gonna make sure not to auto attack this man and play off of our Q and our Q alone. Until he commits his Q. But now we know for a fact he's got nothing. Wow, you actually Because I have zero far. <laughs> My AI doesn't give a fuck about Echo, man. Tragic. Does ever does anyone else feel like the AI just targets you over and over? Make you miss as much farm as possible? Alright, no Q. You can play for E. I'm just gonna focus on getting my CS back. Alright, never play for auto attack after you land stun, because he will E at you and just trade back. It's definitely not what you want to do. That's pretty much all Echo matchup is. You just play around his E and hope to god he doesn't blink for your stun at max range. I don't think we're going to get this guy. Echo having Z-Drive is just really fantastic. Oh, Urgot's perfectly positioned. What? Okay. I don't think we're going to get that guy, but... That's a lot of stuff happening. We're just going to shove this in and try to get a reset since Echo's also coming back with full health. This way at least we're matching his, uh, his spend. If he comes back with Dark Seal and we stay in lane we're just going to be half HP. Yeah I'm going to go amp just so we can rush towards Lost Chapter on next reset. Normally I like to reset with uh, Boots, Dark Seal, Amp Tome, but we still have Flash. Wave is slow pushing towards us. We have new new this game. I don't really need to worry about Nocturne ganks until level 6. Look at this man go. Okay, I'm going to go and use these minions to freeze since I think Echo's resetting again. I don't know where he's going. I killed the excess minions because I don't want the wave to push too fast. So normally when you're doing that, you start with the casters. Just because they do more damage. But, you know, that's why Echo's such a strong champion, is he can just time winder the wave and walk away. We definitely could have walked out of the arc so that we took less minion damage, but I'm placing a ward just to make sure he doesn't roam. We call that a transition ward because you can see if they're walking top or bottom. But yeah, we're basically equal on HP right now, it's kind of sad. But again, by holding the wave here makes it really hard for him to walk up without getting threatened by a new new gank. Are we actually fighting dragon? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> That's sad. I could have also just flashed away and it would have been totally fine. The Cinderette scale echo. Uh, in terms of like straight gold value, you could argue yes, but I think Echo has like one of the best gold efficiencies in the game. Like Echo being able to do a thousand damage on a blink that bypasses any flashes. If we're talking strictly like scaling, then yes, Syndra outscales, but 
sometimes you have to consider other things than just scaling value. Like, Echo will be able to one-shot my backline off, like, a singular item. And this has to do with his high base damage and his high scalings, while also being an assassin. Wouldn't be surprised if Echo gang stop here. When you're playing against Echo, though, usually what they do is they let you push the wave in, and then they'll just W over a wall and all in you. So you always gotta be careful of every single wall, because if you play around this wall, then they'll just W from that wall. Yeah, we get our Dark Seal now. He will be able to push this wave in time if he just timelines it. Again, the most obnoxious thing about Echoes is high damage values. Like, this guy's 100 AP. Just straight up one item purchase. I've got a Lost Chapter, Dark Seal, and he still has more AP than me. Tragic. Alright, so this is dangerous because if we go face check him right here, we basically just lose no matter what. Good news is, once we get 40 splinters, that's when the game becomes a lot easier for us. Sucks that I can't get that pink ward out of the bush, though. Damn. I don't really care too much about the damage, it's just about getting the splinter. We're gonna get it off the level on the cannon anyways, but... Maybe we just walk top and get a free kill. This guy feels like he's baiting me. Okay, never mind, he's just dead already. Welcome to just Echo Tanks. Like, it's hard for me to push up without any wards whatsoever into a Nocturne. He's going to lose the entire caster wave, that's not bad. At this point he's committed to resetting, so we're just going to push one more wave and then reset ourselves since we're sitting on 800 gold. It's very unlikely he stays here because he'll lose ult as a result of it. Wow, I guess my damage just sucks. Generally in games like this, like I could stay for this plate, but it's always a risk. I also go for tier 2 boots, which would help me roaming and spacing against a melee. Like, magic boots are actually really good right now since they removed MR shards. You just penetrate a lot more value. Yeah, if he blinks my E, we kind of just get fucked. That's why you have to space it to where you're at max range when you're throwing your E. If you're going to throw your E at mid range, like, you deserve to lose. You should never be able to get that close. It's so like right now we're face checking a bush where he could be, right? Dude, they have two pinks on each side. I'm still slowed? Holy fuck, dude. I guess I'll just AFK farm mid for the rest of the game. A Nocturne with literally nothing but a Time Lord just right clicks me to death. It's like I want to facilitate gameplay, but if it just results in me getting bodied, there's no point. Yeah, we have a full AP Nunu, I'm actually terrified. What is happening in these plays? Every time we go bottom, we just lose. So, like, why are we still bottom?
That was on me? What the fuck? It's unreal that I'm getting nocturnalted between that passage. I mean, they definitely take Dragon for free, bro. We don't ever win this. Yeah, I don't think we win with nobody here. Don't take my cannon, please. Thanks. Well, we know there's no Echo Vault, so maybe we find something here. Oh wait, he time-winded. One shot the wave. Welcome to Echo Things. Good news is we see him recalling, so... We probably get a plate out of this, unless he teleports. Jesus. The play runs off. Okay, guys. Let's leave. He's going on Nunu and Lost Vision? Yeah, but he still clicked on me. Very nice gank. Good job. A spamming, a spamming my R key there thing, and why is my ult not going off? Turns out it was never back. Jeez, my fucking life bar. scared. I I wasn't sure if the Ezreal ult was going to hit me or not because it just looked really weird on my screen so I just fucked out. Uh oh. Yeah, I think we walk away here. I think he wanted to jump back in. The more so is like, I knew this was warded, but I don't know how he would have ulted on me unless he had a ward right here as well. Which is why I didn't understand. It's like, if you're warding here and you also put a ward here, like, how many wards do you fucking have? Or buy an anti heal. <laughs> now, I fucking I will die for the rest of the game here to Nocturnals if I push up like this. So, the nature of the game has shifted from me being able to play to me just sitting on top of my fucking bot lane. Uh, I can't split versus knock, I join Siege. We three man squad. Hopefully this is not me. Okay. Like 50 seconds before Drake. Come 
<laughs> my god. I'm sidestepping all of this on accident. And we got cleanse. They'll give him free heals. I go to the games. I think I've gained like 150 LP today, so not bad. Pretty alright. We got a Shadow Flame Power Spike, pretty big. At this point, again, we just catch Side Wave, then we group forever. Well played, Syndra. You are carrying. Wow. I'm being glazed. Thank you for the glaze, bro. The 2 2 Cinder mid is carrying, guys. Let's go. Then the group again. Heinrich, thank you for the fall. We might actually catch somebody here. I've got Flash, so I'm feeling good. Dude, did he just jump into our entire team? I don't think we need to be mid at this point anymore. Let's push any... <laughs> Let's go any lane but mid now. Wow, that's... What the fuck is that slow from? Scorch Claw? Look at these towers if we can. Should we Baron? I mean, we can. Whoops, I lost cannon. I've got TP for this. Yeah, at this point, fuck it, might as well. They're all around us. Oh my god, I just lost like half my health right there. If Garen walks on me, I die. I didn't realize the Void Rift did that much damage. I'm just saving my E in case they walk on us. Let's go buy a double rod. About to go juicy. What's up, Mooncake? Wow, Karma's doing work right here. Okay, let's get top and mid here. 
to. Timewinder needs to get the fuck out. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turns out, grouping's pretty good, guys. Scorch Clock slowing me for six years kind of lame. We can just rotate in the top after this. Six hundred damage, that was half his health. Yeah, let's just stand on top of each other, guys. No way you actually did that. We can just push out mid and then wait for the next wave. This works fine too. Dude, I fucking hate Timewinder so much. GG. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.